we fight the fight. But the tools we use, besides advocacy and politics, is we have to manage resources. Remember, the government appropriates. It authorizes. Foundations meet and they authorize. But they hand off those ammunition to us. And from the time they've done that until the time that money and resources is used at the other end to accomplish the mission, we are accountable. We have to do an awful lot of things that money and resources. But one thing you have to do is prove that we can manage it. To prove we have to manage it, and we have to prove that we're good. And you do that. You know what? Be proud of that. You have an opportunity. I feel it every day. I think I can build big buildings, create the big ideas. Somebody gives a million dollars or fifteen dollars. What can I do? How do I count? How do I maximize that for the benefit of the people that I want to serve? You feel that, don't you? You must. You wouldn't be here. But you know what? You got to be good at it. You got to be able to be as good as any developer and building the because you're going to have to have those buildings house those kids in child care, right? house the elderly. You're going to have to, and you will, become a social media of the future. You'll be using the technology to do what you do. You're going to take money and you're going to stretch it stretch it. And you're going to take that pie plate that's 10 inches and take the 8 inches of dough and stretch it all out. So at the end of the time, you've accomplished what it is you set out to do. And you all have some setbacks. You all have some setbacks. You have to speak in this business against power. You represent as you go through life, all I always think that when I'm standing up here, or I'm standing in the testifying state house, or I'm managing a meeting, or whatever I'm doing, I feel there's a hundred thousand people behind me waiting for me or you to talk to them, to act for them, to find resources that they need. And I also know that if we get those resources, that by going through a program like this, these wonderful people, you'll know how to maximize these resources to get the most effect. At the end of the day, you're going to go home. Tired. Aggravated. 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 You feel good now. You feel better. I want you to all step up to the plate. I want you to think. I can. I can be Mr. Drew <laughs> or anybody. Because why not? Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to get up and say it can be done. We don't accept no. We don't accept misery, yeah, it's to get resources, but we've got to push against the structure of power, be it Wall Street or whatever, so that we end up, we end up being at the table, not on the menu. Mm. <laughs> we at the table. And I think what you've done here at Suffolk and what you're going to do in the future you will go forth, you will use all those skills, and you will enjoy it. You'll be tired. I mean, I started at six for five. 
Plus or minus. I have enjoyed my ride. I have got great satisfaction out of using the tools I have, how I was able to get them, taking that into an organization where I had a great leader, where we said the most important thing is education. Education at all levels. Education of the travel, education of the newborn, education all the way up. Education. Don't stop learning. Don't stop doing 